Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading with me, there is a link in the description box below the video where you can go ahead and book a reading. I do offer right now text message readings, so if you need something pretty darn quick, definitely check that out. Um, I would like to give a shout out to our newest members here on my channel. Thank you guys for joining. Okay, it looks like <laughs> we still have the same. Okay, so let's get into your reading. Thank you for becoming a member of my channel. And uh, yeah, all right, let's get into this. So you're starting here, Virgo, with heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, and perfect. So we're going to take a look, you know, at February and see what messages. Oh, okay, this is new. So you have both receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, some closure issues, and what else? Our Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. And you've got the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Virgo, moving on from a relationship, coming to terms with some type of relationship that maybe is just not something for you. Could very well be that. Um, you could be meeting somebody new as well. So do keep your, your, your mind and your heart open. That looks like it's on the table. Um, now, with boat, I do feel like you could meet, maybe you'll meet somebody with a boat, but I do feel like you are, you're getting something that you really need. And it may not be something that perhaps you want, um, but you are, I, you know how they, they always say, like, be careful what you wish for. So, because you just might get it, I feel like for you, Virgo, in the month of February, it's more or less you're going to be receiving something that you need, okay, to progress. And you also have the golden mirror, right? So there could be some type of connection with, um, there's, yeah, some kind of one-sided relationship. And I feel like Spirit wants you to talk about this, okay? There's some type of a breakup or something is ending here or discord or there's trouble or some kind of struggle. Um, someone that you're dealing with. Don't like it, Virgo. Don't like it. This person is an absolute ish stain. <laughs> um, this person is empty. Like they have this emptiness, repressed emotions delaying with the ace of cups in the reverse something not getting off the ground um and maybe you're coming to terms with a particular person in your life who is very self-centered wants everything on their time wants a relationship the way they want it they're constantly looking at themselves in the mirror and just completely in love with themselves you see the heart in the mirror there so here you go, seven of wands in the reverse. This is giving up, Virgo. You are exhausted, overwhelmed. You're protecting your heart. So either you're gonna break up with someone that you've been connecting with because of self-centered or selfishness, or this person, maybe they're always like looking at themselves in the camera. Um, you're exhausted here in February. You're giving up, you're done. You don't, it looks like you don't want to work on something. You're, you're not feeling this love for someone here. This person is extremely overprotective, repressing their feelings. They're not sharing. It's all about them. What they can get from you, not what they can give to the relationship. <laughs> two sorts in reverse, lesser of two evils, no right choice here, completely confused information overload maybe feeling a bit indecisive or you've been feeling that way and it looks like you know what virgo if you've got someone in your life where it's not a 50 50 or you're each not giving 100 
or maybe you've been giving 150 and this person's only giving you know their half, half of that <clears throat> you're or you're trying to make up the difference for someone i see trying to um hold the you're trying to keep the boat afloat and it looks like February, you're not doing that. It's basically like, I'm done with this person. If they can't meet me halfway on something, um, yeah, you're not going to deal with it. And this person is like a love bomber. Here you have the King of Cups in the reverse, okay? Um, coldness. This person comes across as, you know, they give bad advice, emotional manipulator, very moody. They have compassion for self, not so much for you, and they're all about their inner feelings, how they feel, what they're getting, what they're not getting. So it looks like, you know, it's the way to start off, Virgo. So if you're in a relationship with someone currently, or if you meet someone going into February and you are sensing this, because that's what that two of swords in the reverse is, this is like information overload. If you're sensing this about this person, break it off don't even don't entertain it don't even move forward i feel like the the person here love bombs in order to get something in return from you okay that's their energy going forward uh, let's see anything else you can tell virgo about this self-absorbed very insecure understand that very very insecure yep and this person is pretty much someone who is all about their pleasures so for some of you this could be someone who's coming back into your life as well or just making a beeline and start love bombing you in february i feel like you got to <laughs> I don't know it looks like to me like you're not you're just maybe even freeing yourself this person's a fool whoops this person's like a complete fool they act like a fool they behave like a fool they're careless they're super excited to get so i feel like the energy like aquarius energy here i feel like this person gets like super excited about the newness of a relationship And maybe in other relationships, like they don't, oh gosh, it's kind of like a kid in a candy store. They just take, 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 take all the sweetness and the goodness that they can get until they're like sick to their stomach. And then they're like, they've drained the candy store. And now, now they want something salty. <laughs> then, they, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like this person is just, it might be a traveler or a wanderer. My father used to sing this song to me when I was a kid. It's from the 50s. It's called The Wanderer. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, see? And then they, like... I feel like this person is going to come in and start love bombing you in February. And then get whatever they can or whatever they feel they need. And then put up, like, these boundaries. Take off. They got what they need. Okay, let's go. Yeah, look at that. Knight of Wands here. So that's, it's not good energy for this person. And it's not going to be if it's, you know, it says narcissist. So whether they are diagnosed or this person is just extremely self-absorbed, their intentions here are to just come in with this passion, a very impulsive. Look, you've got adventure, fearlessness. That's the same thing here with the fool. They're in and they're out. They don't stick. They're like a nomad. They're just, they're, they're, they wander from place to place they go in with that passion you know but there it's all yeah we're gonna just kind of leave that i feel like it's really important if you like i said if you haven't already done this if you're doing this now pay attention to someone that's giving to get in return it's extremely transactional extremely um and i i do see you giving up though so you know um Virgo. I, I do see you giving up. I do see you being like completely exhausted with this energy and just like it's just whatever. It's, there's nothing here for me. That's your energy here. There's nothing here for me. All right. So let's move on. So you've got some great other things happening here. 
welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together with someone, receiving what you need. Like I said, progression, moving on. Okay. So let's start with heart with a key. Oh, look, you have the king of pentacles. Beautiful. That's a very stable energy. Either you're giving to yourself or you could be connecting with someone who is an earth sign. Let's see. Oops. Okay. Oh, okay. So I kind of feel like this person is maybe a bit humble or shy. They don't, they have private achievements. Like they don't put themselves out there to, um, they're not attention seeking. Okay. A um, little bit of an ego in the sense of like, because they lack a bit of confidence, then they try to have you know, they kind of like compensate with this ego thing. Um, I, I don't see that this person is very popular. They're low key. This is someone who is very low key. And, you know, kind of like you in a way, a lot of Virgos can be very low key. It's just like Vir Virgos especially will put themselves out there just a little, but they're just not, unless they have placements anywhere else their the reservation that virgos have generally keep them grounded um but i like this energy with this temperance card someone who's very moderate you know they find try to find meaning in things things they're very sensible and patient and they like things to mean something um, i'm picking up a bit sentimental this person could be a bit sentimental as well, but generous, generous with their time, with their energy, maybe even with their money, not miserly or anything like that, but very generous and kind. This person could be very uh, wealthy as well. They might work in security, uh, a business person, quite disciplined. very stable oh my gosh yeah could be another virgo this person just kind of comes in with like single as a pringle financially independent <clears throat> they have some luxuries attached to them very self-sufficient let's see what else do you have coming in so you're meeting somebody new in february if you haven't already okay so in lieu of the other cards, I feel like this person is really good at bringing calmness. They don't get overly anxious about things. I mean, they have their anxieties like everything and any, like everybody, okay? Um, but they kind of keep that to themselves. They don't like, won't like, they would not want to worry you. They have their own deep-seated fears you know, um, but they're really good at like reaching out and bringing help and getting the help that they need if they need help with things. And I feel like this person, um, if you have like, they have this strength about them, they're very compassionate. And if you have your own sufferings or things like that, um, like they have a good ear, they're very good listener. So that's really good, Virgo. This is, and so when I'm saying getting what you need, look, this isn't coming across to me as someone who, um, is there's a lack of passion. It doesn't mean it's not there. It's just that this, this person comes into your life bringing harmony, balance, peace, you know? And I feel like for you, Virgo, um, having a partner that can actually sit and talk with you and you guys can exchange ideas and learn from each other and there's like a spiritual connection between the two of you, it's very satisfying, okay? Um, there's something here about stability. This person does not come showing up here as like a player or someone who is just, you know, the way that other person was showing up. It's, they're very stable, single, no, there's no messing around, but I can tell you like, there might even be an element of like, this is so damn stable, it's boring. <laughs> you might feel that way. However, it doesn't stay that way, okay? 
the more you and this person connect oh here's a devil energy yeah this person is very um they're very sexual but they they kind of like that comes a little bit later with them okay it's not the first thing that they show right once you uncover or that you get closer to this person it's going to be on it definitely is going to be on like they're I feel like this person likes to build foundations first before they start moving the furniture and the bed into the bedroom. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like this person, uh, it, it's going to move quickly into a very physical kind of uh, relationship. This person, I don't even, you know what? Not even maybe s sexual as this person can be very sensual. You know, that lead up to, they have like a sleight of hand kind of energy about them. I see you marrying this person, Virgo, or at least becoming a solid, having a solid partnership with this person in February. So it could be Capricorn, could be Virgo, could be Taurus. Um, not in the reverse, so this person shows up very stable. Wow, this is a lot of luck. This is like, wow, just what you need. Karma coming to you. Good positive karma. You read like there's a turning point here. Like it's fated to be. Major change. Now this card says a return to beginning only at a a return to beginning only at a higher level in the spiral of life. So you're starting over but at a different level with someone. Now, is it somebody new? Yeah, it's meeting the one for sure. You could already be connecting with this person in February. What else does Virgo need to know? I feel like it's going to really be in your favor to connect with this person and allow a relationship to develop. So it's kind of like you are, maybe some of you might be dating and you meet these two different people if you're single and you don't have anyone in your life and one of them is just oh so self-absorbed it's like all they think about is their needs and then you meet somebody else who's like the complete opposite of that where they're just very calm and relaxing and and um very peaceful and they um are, are they like to travel perhaps or they do some they work business or something I feel like um, it looks like in February you're going to, the camera is like just not wanting to cooperate today. It looks like in February you are going to, um, you get those red flag signals. And I feel like you, you, you choose to be with the one who has this familiarity it might be a, a lot like yourself. Um, there's innocence and sincerity with this person and they're, they're very sincere, very kind. Okay. Um, some of you, this could be a reconciliation with someone that maybe you were with before when you were younger. Okay. Uh, after you move away from, uh, a relation or a relationship or someone that you meet that's very self-absorbed okay so i i feel like it's very positive for you look at that you've got the nine of cups so this is like a wish come true for you total fulfillment contentment satisfaction emotional stability gratitude strength compassion completion optimism the suffering ends here so i feel like you're going to find some stuff out. Now, if you're already dealing with someone who's extremely self-centered and full of themselves, you may be deciding to just end that and let that go and let somebody new in um, who doesn't excite you as much at first. They don't love bomb. And, you know, the love bombing can really get you kind of caught up. And so that's it's positive that they don't. It's after the relationship is established and grounded that you know so for example like this self-absorbed person will just show up and like they want to they, they they're like affection is off the charts they or they want to marry you right away or they want to 
be like move in with you right away like that whole love bombing they set up these visions and ideas and plans with you so quickly and they take you up as high as you could possibly go and then they drop off and leave you up there by yourself right exciting yeah it's like a roller coaster ride you're going up going up going up going up you know this person's more like i don't know merry-go-round this person over here they're more of like the merry-go-round you know they go it goes around and it can be fun but it's 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 neutral it's 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 enjoyable but it's not crazy but it's not completely dead and boring okay this this other person over here so you know depending on what you are looking for um i think most virgos don't want to be taken for a super fast ride right in the beginning this person over here i feel like they'll they'll connect with you and then after a while riding on that merry-go-round then they're like hey let's go try the roller coaster let's go have some fun you know what i mean so it feels very stable they also have boat okay receiving what you need progression arriving moving on okay so even with the three of wands virgo and the eight of swords i feel like um you're moving out of this energy here. You might have felt trapped or like you have been in a, like a victim or restricted in some way. And I see you like progressing out of this and really like kind of looking forward at the future. You know, like that boat, if you look, look at all the boats in the water here. You see, this is like hope. It's like, you know, I'm gonna put my boat, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna look forward. I'm gonna see what's out there for me, okay? Um, look at all the ships out there in the water. Everybody's like living their life and here I am on the edge. Like I have hopes, I have dreams, right? So I kind of feel like this is an energy of like um, expanding. Where here, there was just no way for you to expand. You were trapped, look at that negative thought, self-imposed restriction, imprisonment, victim mentality, feeling trapped. I feel like um, you're coming out of that in February in every area of your life, you know? Like, it, it feels like a sense of, you know, being able to see beyond where you've been, you know? All areas of your life. It's, it's like an overall thing. But even, like, as far as a relationship goes, it, it feels like, you know, you, you don't have the blinders on anymore. Now you're able to, like, you're getting your hope back in February. You're able to see and oversee your opportunities and what's out there for you, what's coming along. Yeah, so you have the seven of pentacles, a long-term view, hard work, perseverance, and sustainable results. You know, I feel like Virgo, you really have taken stock and now you're starting to implement, like you're starting to not just look at where you are and what you have and where you've been, but also seeing the hope and the possibilities that are out there before you. And I feel like if you've been in a difficult situation, something changes. A shipment comes in. <laughs> something arrives that gives you pause to say, you know something? I don't have to stay here. I can walk out, look, my feet, I can take a step. This is all in my mind. I'm not really trapped, am I? Um, I'm not really trapped. I can move forward. Yeah, so I like this energy and I like that you, um, I feel like are getting out of this or calling this when you see it and saying I don't have to make like you you can make the decision you know I don't I don't have to accept this oh this this self-absorbed one-sided relationship I don't have to there's other there's 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 other opportunities there's other <laughs> it's basically like you know what there's other ships in the sea <laughs> Look at it. And there's one in particular that's over here that's going to be showing up. 
It could be overseas. You might live um, overseas from each other. All right, let's see what else is showing up here. Oh, look at that. There's so much boat energy happening. Yep, look, somebody comes and picks you up. You get on that boat. You leave behind. Release the baggage and you move on. I love this. OMG, movement, balance, solutions, harmony, healing, empathy. I love this. I don't know where I'm going, but I know I'm going. And I'm making that change. I'm making that tra transition. Someone's coming to see you. You reduce from the eight to the six. Someone's coming to see you. Someone's, someone's coming in, Virgo. Getting rid of that baggage. Nope. Just bringing the carry-on. That's all I need. I don't need anything else but my carry-on. Yep, you're in this reevaluation mode. Definitely. Foundations are being built. You're progressing. Yep. You're you're also progressing from I don't have to accept um, the first love offer that comes in. I can pick and choose. I can look at my options here. And that's absolute freedom. When you have the freedom to choose, you know, you never never um Never go shopping when you're hungry. You need to be satiated first, <laughs> right? Before you, uh, in order to make a, a well-rounded decision, because when you're hungry or when you're, you're desperate for love or when you're in a position of needing, like just having this need, you will often just take whatever comes, whatever's on the shelf, right? And without even thinking about it, because you're hungry, because you have that need. But it looks to me like, you um in february you're like you know when uh, let me just let me go get let me go grab a burger or something let me go get something to eat first and then take a look at my options i want to make a well-informed decision about who i want to let in my life or who is going to come in you know so i love that you you have this now here i know some of you are already there and that's great but to be able to look and see the difference between these two people is really like that's gold okay so you have the page of cups a happy surprise coming in absolutely this is i feel like this is something that you intuitively i feel like some of you intuitively know that this is coming for you that this opportunity to have um, a potential progressive relationship going forward. And I, I see it happening. I see a lot of exchanges of communication with you or receiving some kind of message from someone and feeling very um, happy. Yep, just what I was saying, messages. Feeling very happy about the exchange and messaging or messages that you have, limitless potential, um, excitement, that freedom, discovering one another. Okay, and this is all about you having the freedom to choose to either respond or to not respond. That's the, that's the gist of the reading. Yeah, there's a, two other people here, but one you're letting go, one you're welcoming in, two people who are two different people who are coming in and you're making a decision about what's best for you. I love it. You know what I mean? I love it. I, I just, I don't know where I go. I just feel like um, February has a lot of um, options. You have choices. At least two to begin here. All right, let me see. What are your love messages coming forward here? Okay. So it's a soulmate coming in. Okay. And this is a destined partnership with this person over here is what I feel okay new love happening here or recommitment to love is developing which is what I was saying this person here could be from your past that you are reconnecting with yeah there you go past life love so for some of you it definitely is okay um, 
And your last message for that is to go slow, take time to get to know each other for the first time or again. And for some of you, it's really this person's energy, they'll go slow. They'll get take the time to get to know you. They're not in a rush, which is, I think, great. <laughs> you know, anybody who's in a rush is like, oh, somebody didn't eat before they went shopping. And I feel like that's what this person is over here, this self-absorbed person. They don't take their time. They just grab, like if they see you on a shelf, they're just going to grab you until they get their fill. And then you're back on the shelf, you know. Maybe that's something you've experienced in your life. Perhaps not. Maybe you've never experienced that. I hope you never have because it's horrible. Horrible feeling. Um, I hope that you're that Virgo that's like takes a step back and just kind of observes and be and you know it's like okay this person's promising me the moon they ain't even got a job what the heck <laughs> let's take a look at the new person coming in let's see what their chinese sign is and yeah yesterday i don't know what i was talking about or um yeah sunday i was trying i couldn't remember what chinese year we were in and I think I said rabbit or something. I don't know what I was... I'm so... I don't remember what I said, but everybody was commenting, no, it's the year of the dragon. And I knew... I know that... It, I do know that. So, I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. <laughs> so, yes. We are in the year of the dragon. Happy Lunar New Year to everyone. Okay. All right. The new person coming in. Year of the horse. Year of the snake. Oh, horse again. And this could be you. It could also be them. Year of the dragon. Wow. I love this. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful, that dragon? Almost looks like a butterfly. There you are, Virgo. Just sitting there reading your book. And all of a sudden, here comes the dragon year. Year of the tiger. Year of the pig. Year of the dog. Year of the Rabbit and Year of the Rat. Okay, so hopefully you are compatible with those signs, those Chinese signs. Let's see what else. Okay, there you go. Earth sign. Yeah, it's an earth sign coming in. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So I want you to understand something. I know some of you are like, I will never date an earth sign again. Now listen, you have to understand, like, could you imagine if someone said that about you? We all have our strengths and our weaknesses. And sometimes we can, op sometimes we can operate more out of our strengths and less out of our weaknesses. And other times it can be reversed. So if you were with an earth sign before and it was a very horrible experience, there's a lot of factors that could have played into that a lot. And you have to really take an assessment um, because I know you as an earth sign, you're a really good person. I know that you are. Okay. So I think it's really important. If an earth sign comes in, it's like Will Smith said, don't let someone from your past, um, don't let the new person pay for what someone else did. Take your time to understand who the person is that's coming in. But I do feel like it's an earth sign. And what else do you have? Oh. Okay. Somebody might be uh, pregnant or getting pregnant. Now, if that's not you, that's fine. It could be somebody that you're connected to um, in your family or a friend. You might know about a pregnancy. Uh, you may, or it, you might not know about it, it, and it might come up in February, you find out. Okay, you also have vacation, so you're going to be traveling soon. Oh, you also have date night. Get ready to be wined and dined. For some of you, there might be a, look at the heart. There might be a Valentine's date with an earth sign showing up. Nice, Virgo. I would be tremendously happy for you tremendously okay let's get some initials and see if we can find out who's coming in and what their initial might be or who you're connecting with all right right off the bat they're giving me august 21st now i know that's leo um for some of you this person could be on the cusp of leo virgo okay which 
and it could be you but I will say that I love these cards um, the king of pentacles does represent the third decan of Leo and the second decan of Virgo okay that's in the weeks in the month during that time so this person could be a Leo Virgo or it's you okay keep that in mind we also have the letter J so somebody's initial could be a J O their name could be Joe Joseph Jose we have the age 33 all right okay Joa J-O-A or just an A we have the letter F we have someone's born in the month of June we have the letter T the letter E I'm hearing Jennifer Jeff definitely or Jaffa somebody's last name might be Jaffa okay oh that's so loud uh, August 31st someone's born in 76 that's actually the year of the dragon another a someone likes to drive ATFs someone is 44 years of age we have the letter X someone's born in the year of the ox okay and for some of you this is an X <laughs> from a long time ago oh now it's twisting over here to a W someone's in Washington um, yes yeah, so I just heard someone lives in Washington on uh, 1985 um, someone is 39 you know somebody left a comment under my last video they said constructive criticism love your readings but these charms and and the the letters and initials are just no good and I'm you know I, I just hid the user from my channel because I want to stress that th this is this is YouTube is a creator's channel okay um, <laughs> it's art so to speak right I mean the tower readings are tower readings but the point is that um, first of all nobody's asking for anyone's constructive criticism you know um, you're free to be expressive here and to share what we like to share and to uh, communicate in some type of an art form or however we like to communicate here you know so I, you know I didn't get upset because there's trolls out there and these doomsday scrollers and these people that just have absolutely no life um, and I just think you know go, don't you why don't you go make your own channel or something the whole constructive feedback is great you can send me an email <laughs> if you're like you know what can, you know if you have an idea but I'm not looking to be criticized here if you have an idea of something that we could bring to the channel or that I could bring that would just be much more fun that's always welcome absolutely but to give constructive criticism that's not constructive that's bad behavior that's just complete criticism because he didn't give any follow-up to how to improve it it was just a dig you know so if you're that person who's listening to my channel and you feel like that's the kind of behavior you want to show I will completely ban you from the channel completely I have no problem doing that you should see the list I have of people that I've blocked and banned from my channel because of that type of BS you know um, anyway I felt the need to say that let's move on okay so someone is 54 years of age someone's born in oh I'm sorry I was gonna say 85 but no someone is 58 okay we've got the letter R somebody's name starts with an R now did I say Rafa or Jaffa now I'm hearing Rafa they just said after dinner mint <laughs> all right September 3rd September 2nd 
Okay, August 28th. And, oh, they just gave me, okay. The charm just kind of showed up in my hand, so I'm gonna show it to you. Love me. Love me, love me, say that you love me. So does anybody like that song? Because that just popped into my head, that song, Love Me. Um, you, Virgo, might receive a conversation heart from someone around Valentine's Day that has the word love or love me on it. That's so cute. I love that. I love you. Love me. I love you. <laughs> Let's see what other charms you have. And, you know, like I said, if you are dealing with a very narcissistic, self-absorbed um, shit stain, um, looks like you're going to be letting that person go in um, February if you haven't already. And if you're not dealing with that person, they may be showing up here in February. And it's really important that you um, take a cold, hard look at the facts, evidence about that person okay before you make any decisions right because there's no relationships are a two-way street okay so you have some kissy lips here you also have um a cactus okay so somebody might live in an area where there's a lot of cactus and you have chanel number no. five perfumes you might be receiving if you are someone that likes to receive perfumes and maybe lipsticks and stuff like that, you might be receiving that or getting that for yourself for Valentine's Day or it's because something that you're putting on some very bright lipstick. <laughs> maybe in February you're gonna start wearing it or start wearing Chanel number no. five. Um, I'm picking up some Arizona energy, Nevada, um, New Mexico I'm picking up. All of the very southern states, maybe even Texas, um, southern areas. I don't know where else there is cactus. I don't know in any other parts of the world, only because I'm just naive to that. But yeah, I do feel like there is some kind of connection. Maybe you live there or you, you have a connection with someone. Maybe Southern California somewhere along the lines maybe nevada somewhere down there there's a connection to someone in those areas okay this person showing up here this new um this king of pentacles masculine or feminine all right virgo so i'm gonna leave that there for you this again will play out for the month of february i hope that that was enjoyable if you need a personal reading with me please go ahead and book that. The link is in the description box below. And please do become a member of my channel. It's $2.99 a month. You get really cool badges. If you were a member before, just rejoin and you will keep your status. Um, you get really cool emojis. And when you join, I'll give shout outs to you right here on the channel. All right, you guys have a fantastic evening, day, and I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Bye. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.